Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how NASA accidentally created life on Mars. Mars is the future of humanity, or so the route of space explorations currently being undertaken by agencies around the world would have you believe. As private players like SpaceX join the big leagues of space exploration, competition could trigger quick developments in the industry. A scientist from Cornell University recently wrote for BBC on how humans may have accidentally taken life to Mars. The scientist wondered how humans may have carried microbes into space, which may have survived the trip to make their new home on the Red Planet. According to Christopher Mason, any life consequentially discovered on Mars may have originated in NASA labs. Even then, the author noted how NASA follows on-site cleaning procedures and assembles spacecraft in specialized rooms. NASA R spacecraft, including the Perseverance rover, is built in sterilized rooms, and each component is cleaned before assembly. Mason says that this should theoretically ensure that no bacteria or organisms can survive the assembly process. The filtration process, in addition, provides an extra layer of protection so that only a few hundred particles may be able to contaminate each square foot. But even that may not be enough. Microbes, as Mason puts it, tend to survive in the least expected places. They are found inside our bodies and may sneak through the most sophisticated cleaning processes in the world. In the BBC piece, Mason referred to his theoretical research to show that microbes may become a problem during space missions, as they contain genes that may be able to resist radiation and cold environments. Mason offers an argument for natural selection, saying that the microbes that can survive the strictest cleaning processes may have a greater chance of surviving the journey to Mars. Forward contamination may be inadvertent, Mason notes. This happens when travelers intentionally or unintentionally take something from one planet to another. He adds that from a scientific point of view, this is undesirable, and new organisms may wreak havoc if introduced in alien ecosystems. Even then, not all have lost. If current signs of life did originate on Earth and not Mars, scientists will be able to ascertain the same. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.